this tutorial, we're going to take a simple high resolution scan of a dollar bill and turn that into an off the wall, all over distressed grunge type of t shirt print. Very simple project. We can do it very quickly, yet, we can create a really cool design like we have on this all over t shirt print set up in Photoshop. And all we did was take a high resolution scan of a dollar bill, converted that, and we created a cracked or distressed custom brush in Photoshop. And then we applied some crack and distress effects as you can see here. So we'll do all of this in this tutorial. Take us a few minutes and we'll go ahead and we'll start with our dollar bill. I'll go ahead and minimize this and I've got my dollar bill here. And the first thing I want to do with this is I scan this at high resolution. I want to go ahead and crop this so all I've got is George Washington's face area here because that's all I'm going to work with. So I'll just go to my crop tool. That's the fourth, fifth one down in the toolbar here. Go ahead and select the area, left click, drag and release and I'll select the area I want to crop and then just double click. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. I'll come down here and click on my zoom tool and we'll just click a couple times here the left mouse button and zoom in. I want to take this image, go to image and mode and I want to convert this to a grayscale and we'll go ahead and discard our information. The next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the levels on this. So I'll go to image adjustments and levels and you'll notice that when the levels comes up here we've got a couple of different bars we can slide here with. And you'll notice as I left click hold down and slide that I'm adjusting the tone or the brightness contrast and intensity of my image here. Now I got rid of a lot of the peripheral data I want to get rid of there. Now I'm going to come over here to the left that's coming from the white slider here. You notice that will adjust that. Now I'll come over here to the black slider output levels and come in the other way and darken this up. So I'm able to make a very quick adjustment here using levels on the gray. The best thing to do is open this up and just experiment with it using some grayscale images and you'll see how it works and get a feel for it very quickly. I'm going to select OK. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to take this image and knock it out, give it a transparent background. And I'll bring that into my t-shirt design. So what I'm going to do next very simply is I'm going to go to an action that I have up in my actions palette here and that's called whiteout. Now I create this action to knock the white out of grayscale objects. So all I have is my black or gray color left. Now this is covered in another tutorial on artamp.com. That's A-R-T-A-M-P.com. It's in the Photoshop tutorial sections under creating vintage t-shirt designs. There's a design or an icon image there with a vintage Joker t-shirt design there. And if you take that tutorial, you'll be able to see how I made this whiteout script be able to work with this. So once I've selected this action from my actions, what I want to do is just go ahead and run this. And we'll go ahead and process this image into a grayscale image with no white, a transparent background. And if I come down here and I'll click and right click and I'll fit on screen, you can see now I've got a transparent background. Now this script keeps a copy of my background, which I've got here. We've also got this up at very high resolution. Now, if I was really designing this to set up for a t-shirt, I'd probably run at this resolution to print an all-over t-shirt. But for the sake of the tutorial, so Photoshop will process things quicker, I'm going to go ahead and bring my resolution down. So I'm going to go to Image, and I'll go to Image Size, and I'm going to change this from 900 to 200, and select OK, and that'll bring this image down for me. Because if I was printing on something as big as a full t-shirt, I'd need a lot of resolution to hold, de hold my detail. I'll go ahead and minimize this. I'll bring my t-shirt back up here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the layer that I have the current George Washington on here. We'll delete that. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and then I'm just going to drag and drop. Come over here and just left click, hold down on the George Washington and then drag that into my t-shirt comp image and release. Is I've got George Washington set up to go on my t-shirt as you can see here. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit control T to transform and resize him. Now if I want to constrain him I can hold down my shift key and while I'm transforming, I'll keep the same size. If I don't hold down shift key, I can resize any way I'd, I want and warp it or change the image. But I'm going to hold down shift and resize that way. I want to come right about to here, which is the actual size of the t-shirt. Now you can see I've got George Washington set up to one side here. We'll left click up here on our select tool and we'll click apply. Now, with this selected and set up like this, the next thing I want to do is I want to create a distress or a crack type distress brush. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and open some texture files. And I've got some texture files. I took a bunch of pictures a while and I really like to create my own textures and have a lot of control over my textures and the effects when I create them. So 
And as you can see, I've got a bunch of paint type cracks and distress files for that. So I'll just go ahead and left click, drag that into Photoshop, and that'll open up independently as a new image. The next thing I want to do is take this particular image, and I'm going to pull out some of the distress and cracks from the image and create a new brush that I can use effectively in Photoshop. So the first thing I want to do is go to Image, Mode, and I want to convert this to a grayscale. Go ahead and discard. Then I want to actually go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels again. I'm going to bring this right down in, and then we'll bring some of this back in. We can see where we're getting some crack and distress right in here that we should be able to pull out pretty effectively. And we'll select OK. So I'm going to want to work around in this area here because a lot of this gray data I'm not going to want. And I've got a lot of gray in here, and I'm not going to want that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my Crop Tool. And I'm going to just crop right into here. And then I'm going to zoom in and see what we're dealing with. And what I want to do is I want to pull out some of these cracks, but I want to get some of this grayscale peripheral data out of here. And I'll probably work right with this section right in here. So I'll go ahead and get my eraser here. I'm going to bring down my brush panel here and pick a brush that's about, let's see, 100. Is that good? No, I want to go with 300. And these are actually 8 megapixel photos, so they're very high resolution. And I'll go ahead and get rid of a lot of this gray data that I have in around here. I'm not going to want that in this brush. The next thing I want to do is I can actually go ahead and I'm going to go to image and image size and I'm going to bring this down to let's say 72 inches, excuse me, excuse me 72 pixels per inch in resolution. 6 by 11 is good because I'm going to be creating big effects for a big all over t-shirt. Select OK and then I'm actually going to erase what's going on here. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and lasso with the rectangle selection tool just this area of this particular graphic that I've created and set up. Then I'm going to go to edit and define brush preset and I'm going to name this brush as cracks. And you can see it's got the 696 in there. We'll call this cracks and select OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this graphic, go back to my dollar bill that I have here go to my eraser tool I'm going to expand my brushes panel and you can see I've got 696 here but that's the cracks that I just created and if I select on that I can see those cracks I see a little image of those cracks now what I want to do is I want to go to my brush tip shape I want to change my spacing because all I'm going to do is just dab with this I'm not going to want to just apply a whole bunch of it. I'm just going to click one time dab click one time dab and if I move my mouse while I'm doing that, then it'll keep having this spacing set up. I'm not going to erase a whole bunch of stuff. But we'll notice if we click right here one time, left click, we get that effect. If I bring my diameter down and then I come in here, well, that's a little too much. We want to be right about 300. And I can click here like this. And I'll start creating a distressed or cracked type of effect. But going with different sizes is going to affect how it's applied to my shirt. Now, we can't really see what's going on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the t-shirt color here on layer color. I'm just going to grab my magic wand tool and click on that. And we'll zoom in here. I'm going to go ahead and click and we'll zoom in here. You can see i got a couple areas I missed here. So I'll grab my magic wand tool, hold down shift, click those two areas just to get those selected. Then I simply want to go to selection and inverse. I want to have my background layer selected, then hit my delete key. Now I'll go to select, deselect, and we'll go ahead and fit on screen. And now you can see that I've got this set up inside of my t-shirt. Go back to my eraser, and I'll start to get an idea of how this distress is working in my design. You can see that we're creating a little bit different distress than what we had the first time. Now, I might go back and create a couple of different brushes and different sizes that are all customized to, and then I'll just start building into this distress to have it fade out more and more and more into my t-shirt and then we start to get a very nice effect now if I want to I can go to my layer styles on my background double click that and see what different colors will look like come into my layer styles and I'll go in here to color overlay and you can see how that would look with a red or maybe we'll go with a green color similar to something we might see with a dollar bill or something like that a dark green and select OK and select OK so it's just a quick tutorial on how we can create our own custom distress brushes Use something as a simple dollar to create an off-the-wall, all-over t-shirt print here very quickly working in Adobe Photoshop. And as I said, if you want to check out the tutorial on creating this action, it's on artamp.com.